Oh, happy day. Ted Reader's here. Life is good from Kevin Callan to Ted Reader and barbecuing, my friend, what you do best. I love it. It's, it's barbecue season. In my world, it's all year long. That's right. But uh, today being the first long weekend of the summer, maybe we'll get some warm weather. Please, can Please. we have some warm weather? Please. I'm tired of wearing a toque, <laughs> okay? It's May already. I'd like to put it away. All right. So <laughs> and Long John's still I, I on. I mean, it's cold. It's I'm ridiculous. cold. So we got to go to the barbecue first. Which kind of barbecue do you prefer? I, I love to cook on anything. Okay. So, But I love the flavor that charcoal gives yeah. you and the, and the essence of the smoke that comes with it. And so a charcoal grill is a wonderful th thing, but any kind of grill is good as long as it's clean and it gets hot. Okay. Those are the most important things. So if you haven't pulled your grill out this year, get it out, clean it first, get it fired up, and if it's nice and hot, then you can start the cooking process. And speaking of cooking process, what do we have going so on here, So we've got my all friend? kinds of stuff. We've yes. got steaks, we've got salmon, we've got burgers. So let's talk steak. We've got a little one here. A little one, Ted? So I went to my butcher Look around the this. corner. And this is about a, a 22 huge. ounce, um, a little old pound and a quarter, pound and a half. It's a steak. Steak. But this isn't meant for one. This is meant that you cook this steak and then you cut it up and you can feed two, three, four people off of it nice and easy so you don't have to, you can watch your portions. You don't right. have to eat something really huge. Right. Okay? I'm a big guy. I'm trying to be a little guy. It's almost you an impossibility. Great. Thank no, you. You're looking very so well. it's portion size. Make things smaller, but a thicker steak will stay juicier won't cook as fast and so you have more time to enjoy things like beer there you go so with these steaks i've rubbed them and it's a it's a coffee based rub oh really and then i have this really cool thing by by keith's okay and so you it's called an infuser so i have my coffee rub in here some fresh rosemary and garlic and then you pour in your beer and so you pour in your beer like this and then you take the cap and you put it on and you over and you'd let it'll okay. be fine, it'll just stop right. foaming. Okay. And then you just slowly turn it over and you'd let it stand for 15 minutes, but it quickly infuses the flavors into, mm. into your yeah, beer. Yeah. And then, so you got your steaks on and you, so you let this sit for 20, 30 minutes, right? And then you can just drizzle as your steaks are cooking, you can drizzle this flavored beer over well, top. Now how long for a steak like that on the barbecue? I'm about 15 minutes. Okay. I started it on high to sear. And then if you notice here on the dials, I've turned it down. Lid open so I can watch what's going on. If I get a flare up, I can move things. Like look at those beautiful And how do you know eggs. it's done? What are you looking for? I'm looking at texture and, okay. and, and density. So when I touch it with my finger, this is, this is almost to medium rare. So okay. when you touch this palm of your hand, that's rare. Thumb to first finger. The texture here, medium rare. Medium, medium well, well done. Barbecue and tips so from Ted Reader. You test okay. it. So then over here we have salmon. So here, when you do, where's my spatula? There you go. Non-stick cooking spray is a good thing because you want to get your grill seasoned and then you want to spray down the meat so that it'll not stick. And patience, when you go underneath, look at that, it's easy to turn it over. If it's stuck, it means it's not cooked yet and then you just took it, cook it on, and when it's done, you'll know it's done, the meat will separate from the skin. And so when the meat separates from the skin, the salmon is done, you can take it off the grill. We have got about 20 seconds, but right. I see burgers. Burgers, so, so we're cooking burgers. these burgers on stone. Again, fresh ground beef, and I've got them from my butcher. I ground, Beautiful. they ground it, I mixed them. Nice and easy, don't squish, don't push your burgers. When you're working with burgers that are fresh, you can do them this way. If they're doing frozen, always cook a frozen burger 100% through to well done and cook frozen burgers from frozen, fresh burgers out of the refrigerator. Love the tips. Those and are your tips. Those are the tips, and we will have all of Ted's tips, everything he mentioned today, on our website, CanadaAM.ctvnews.ca. Back after this. You're awesome. Thanks. You're awesome, my friend.